Back to Harbaugh. Now for the sideshow. First up, what was yesterday's highlight from the 2012 Republican race? Well, probably the most recent ad from the Kane campaign, which left us all saying, what just happened? Here's a little refresher. We need you to get involved because together we can do this. We can take this country back. Well, you didn't expect the late night scene to leave that one alone, did you? Let's take a look at one of the revamps from Kane's for Kane's Bizarre Ad from The Late Show with David Letterman. Rich Lowry here, Chief Economic Advisor for Herman Cain. Government must get off our backs, out of our pockets, and out of our way. Wow. Well, as if the original ad wasn't strange enough on its own, it also prompted Saturday Night Live Seth Meyers to tweet a mock explanation for the ad overheard at Kane headquarters this morning. Where'd you put that joke video? Joke video? That one provides quite the visual. Next up, how many sides can Mitt Romney take on one issue? Well, if it's about a piece of anti-union legislation out in Ohio that's up for repeal, three. First, Romney said he supported the anti-union bill. In a Facebook post back in June, Romney referred to the legislation saying, quote, I stand with John R. Kasich and Ohio's leaders as they take on this important fight to get, to get control of government spending. Please visit www.betterohio.org for more information. Well, then yesterday, perhaps after learning that polls are running heavily against the bill, Romney had this to say. I'm not speaking about the, uh, the particular ballot issues. Uh, those are up to the people of Ohio, but I certainly support the effort of the governor to reign in the scale of government. Uh, so uh, I'm not terribly familiar with the two ballot initiatives, but I'm, I'm certainly supportive of the Republican Party's effort here. Well, I noticed he looked over to the other guy for help. So now he's steering clear, right? Right. Until today, that is. I fully support uh, Governor Kasich's, uh, I think it's called Question 2 in Ohio. Fully support that. What I was referring to is I know there are other ballot questions there in Ohio, and I wasn't taking a position on those. One of them, for instance, relates to health care and mandates. With regards to Question 2, which is the collective bargaining question, I am 110 percent behind Governor Kasich and in support of that, that, uh, that question. Yeah, he does look like one of those uh, robots at the Hall of the Presidents down at Disneyland. You never know what they're going to say. From no comment to 110% support in 24 hours, I can't imagine why he would want to sidestep questions relating to health care. And now for the big number. Who do you want over for dinner? Or more accurately, which of the GOP candidates would most Republican voters want to have come to dinner? Here's a hint. Pizza. That's right. Former Godfather's Pizza CEO Herman Cain is at the top of the list. How many of those polled shows Cain is their first pick for dinner day? 29%. He just managed to beat out, I can't believe this, Newt Gingrich, who came in second. The president of the research group that conducted the poll points out that while the results are a good indication of Kane's likability, quote, it may just be an indication that Americans like pizza. What foolery. And by the way, does anybody really, really want Newt Gingrich to dinner? Really? Really? 29% want dinner with Herman Kane. That's tonight's big number.